Okay, this has now been running for about 45 minutes. They say to do this for the preload. And this thing runs so cool. Um, 76 on there. I think the, the, yeah, the hottest thing is the belt. Um, this side is cool. Um, the motor is cool. Anyway, to set that preload, I've stuck this back together, snugged it up. Um, they say run it for a half hour and then check to see if there's any play and take it out and do an eighth. There's no play in mine. Um, so anyway, I think that's got it. I cleaned up the Morse Taper 2 in here, cleaned up the chuck, and now I want to see if it, uh, the, the run out. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is hook up um, an end mill collet with an end mill in it and test the run out on that now. Okay. It looks like around oh, two thousandths or so on that. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but it's better than it was. Here's a three jaw chuck in there with that uh, end mill tightened up in there. And if you'll notice, I mean, we've got there's 10, 15, 16, 17 thousandths. It's going right there. 17 thousandths. So I'm not sure if it's the chuck. I did check the. Um, the backlash on there and I'm not sure uh, what's going on there I was uh, told that my chuck was um, not tight that's as tight as I can get that on there I clean the threads on both inside and outside and that's as close as I can get this three jaw chuck to snug up to that now I'll put the four jaw on there this is the four jaw and it does butt right up against the spindle so that's good the next thing is I tried to true this thing the best I could and I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I'll spin it. That's so you can see that gets that's pretty doggone close on a four jaw chuck. It's it's running really really true. Now I'm going to back that up, turn it on for a second here. Okay, so... See, that's with my little amateur way of setting it up on a four jaw, my very first time doing it. It's like a half a thou. Which I do believe that's pretty good. Um, well, with the face plate up against there, looks like out here on the edge is right around six thousandths that it um, goes out during the whole travel. So it's not as bad though when it when it bottoms out, it doesn't wobble like it, it used to. Here's the face plate. Doesn't look too bad. This may have a bad three jaw chuck and this other stuff is just normal uh, running. Here's a $64,000 question. If the spindle is messed up, is it possible on a four jaw to get it running dead true on that? So that's the thing. If, if you got a bad spindle and you can't true this up, then I know it's uh, not the spindle. Um, anyway, uh, the three jaw still messed up and the face plate looks pretty good. And when you put end mills in it in the collet, they still are off about oh, five thousandths of an inch. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. All right, any help would be appreciated. Thank you. This is my three jaw chuck and there is some junk in there so I do have to clean that out. I've got the jaws out. 
but some guys were asking does this have a face plate and I don't think it does this looks like it's just all one piece except for back here you can see that there is a part to take it off and it's been indexed right there um, but it's not like a face plate the face plate I had mentioned the other ones and I might be saying the wrong thing guys but this is the face plate that I was talking about last time and this is the face plate that shows about six thousandths off in the wobble axis but thing is is I don't have a table or anything to see if this thing is true um, so all I have to go by is what I can get off of it on the lathe itself this is the Atlas three jaw chuck and these are the three screws here that I do believe hold the way you get this off where this thing is heavy it's just a couple of inch chuck but it is heavy um, <clears throat> Anywho, um, hope this helps a little with trying to help me. Is like I said, it doesn't have like a faceplate per se on it. That was the faceplate I was talking. Faceplate I was talking about.